My sister? Was it my sister? Did you tell her? Did you? No. What do you mean? It could be either you or her. I'm sure. I'm sure it was Yana. She was watching me in the cafe and saw me giving the money to Victor. She must have told Dennis about it. Why would she set you up? Then come to the place where you and Victor talked. To expose herself? How am I supposed to know? Don't yell. Oh, God. Are you okay? I'm telling you again. I didn't tell anything to Yana, neither about you or the blackmail. If I did, I wouldn't be surprised about the information you're giving to me now. And I don't want Yana to know the truth about me. It's not on my agenda. I don't want to lose her ever. I don't believe you. Something's not right. It could be only you or my sister. <sighs> you can think whatever you want. If we're done, I'd better go. I have a lot of work to do. Then who did it? Yeah, I'm driving. I'll call you later. I want to go out now. I'm going to work. I'm tired of hiding. I, I don't want to sit at home anymore. Wait, don't go anywhere. I'm near. I'll explain everything to you. No, I'm going. Do you realize how many calls I get from the channel? They're waiting for me. And your Dennis, he keeps calling me almost all the time. He called me five times yesterday and twice today. I don't like where this is going. Halia, yeah, I understand you. I also don't like what's going on. What about Victor? Did he contact you already? Did you talk to him? No, I don't know where he is. He disappeared. People at the security agency said he has left on business conference. What does Victor have to do with this? And what do I have to do with it? Tell me, what did Victor do? How was he involved? Okay, please calm down. I'll come over in 15 minutes to explain everything to you. And in conclusion, I'm satisfied with the index numbers of production and our company's marketing. They're quite decent. But please consider my statements regarding our profitability. That's it for now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. How can you not believe me? I'm telling you the truth. I'm sorry if I made mistakes to you before. I should have told you everything from the start, but Halya asked me. What should I do to make you believe me? Tell me. The subscriber cannot take your call at the moment. Please try again. Why isn't she answering my calls? Does she not want to talk to me? Two servings of special dumplings with liver and potatoes. Apple juice and adjica. Thank you for your order. Huh. 
Tama Olia. They wanted the special dumplings in their order, but we ran out of stock. They don't want to order the regular dumplings. What should we do? Only Petro could make our special dumpling. I don't know what he adds to the special sauce. Or to the cheese stuffing. Will Petro ever come to work here again? I don't know. I called him, but he doesn't answer his phone. What if something happened to him? What are you making? Oh, can't you see? I am making dumplings. People keep ordering this, so I'm making them. Is it Petro's recipe? Mm -hmm. No, it's Liuba's recipe because I'm making them. Unlike Petro, who's not here. By the way, did you call him? Mama Olya can't reach him on the phone. Oh, he must be drunk and fell asleep somewhere. That's why he doesn't hear the phone ringing. So pathetic. Liuba, if you watch your tongue carefully, Petro would be here by now. Two servings of special dumplings with liver and potatoes, apple juice and adjaka. Give me Petro's address. What for? I want to visit him and see if he needs any help. Oh, he needs help, huh? <laughs> you better help me here instead. Why would you visit him? He doesn't deserve it. Luba, give me Petro's address. All right. Are you going to spend the whole day like this? Dad, why don't you just go to work? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is Petro here? Mm, please come in. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello there, Petro. Yeah? Good afternoon. <clears throat> Please meet my son. His name is Danilo. Nice to meet you. Likewise. This is Olya Valentinivna. Uh, she's my employer and uh, the owner of the cafe. Would you like some coffee or tea? We have some cookies too. Oh no, thank you. Don't mind me. I just want to talk to you, Petro. Okay. Uh, I really must go now. You told me you go to work in the evening. I'm gonna be busy all day. I've got some errands to run to. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Your son is very nice, Petro. Thank you. Mm. Uh, please sit down. Please. Thank you. Petro. I realize you and Liuba's relationship is pretty complicated. You're going through some tough times, but... Please come back to work right away. <laughs> Today there were so many clients who wanted to order your cheese dumplings, you know? Only you can make the dish so special. There is a secret. I'll add some spices to the dough and the cheese stuffing, put some garlic in it, and in the oil. <laughs> I know you miss your work, I can tell. <clears throat> so are you going to sell all this stuff? Yes, for a little money. And the money that you got for your car, did you give it to the Dobrovolskis? What do you say? Only Valentinivna. Why me? You don't need me. The restaurant would be fine without me. Yes. Petro, I was going to raise your salary even before your friend pulled that scheme on me. Here. An advance. You've earned this money. 
way before then. And now I'm giving you a 30% raise on your pay. So what do you say? Well, what can I possibly say? Thank you. Okay, good. That's a deal then. Come on. Get ready and come to work before I lose all the customers. Halia, it's me! <sighs> Hello. <sighs> right. Sit down. We need to talk. That's what you have to tell Dennis, that you're a drug addict. Why would I tell him I'm a drug addict? Listen, I'm not asking you to become one. Just pretend that you used to be one, that's all. No, I don't want to. There will be rumors and I'll get fired for that, so no. Everyone will forget about this story soon, I promise. Don't worry about it. All right. Do, do you want me to help you become a TV host? I heard they're going to launch this super cool project at one of the channels in the capital. I'll refuse because Dennis won't let me go. But I could talk to some of the producers and ask him to hire you. They'll listen to me. I don't know. Look, I always keep my promises and I did help you a lot of times for what you did. You did get a job at Emria TV, right? You did, and who helped you to get it? I did. I promised you would be my assistant, and I kept that promise. Halya, I always did what you asked me to do. Now I'm asking you for a favor. I will make it up to you. Listen, you must understand that you can get a big bonus by doing this. Just imagine, a TV host who used to be a drug addict, but now she managed to overcome her addiction. <laughs> it will surely attract people's attention. The audience will be thrilled watching it. The ratings will be high and you'll be all set. Halya, you know how difficult show business is if you don't have influential friends. You have privileges. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Listen, please, we've always been good friends in the office, haven't we? I know, I got carried away, spent a huge sum of money. It could happen to anyone anyway. But Dennis doesn't understand. I need money for girly things. You. You know how men are when it comes to such matters, right? They think you can only spend big money buying a yacht or a car. But girls also need makeup and expensive lingerie. Please, darling, help me on this one. It's a little white lie. All right. Thank you. But promise me that I will become a host. Promise. So what do I have to do now? You must go to work today. And you have to wait till Dennis finds you or calls you, okay? But until you're questioned by Dennis, you're not going to say anything, all right? Do you remember the story? Yes, I was a drug addict since I was 15 years old. I started using heroin when I was extremely in debt and alone, and I have to go to the hospital. Yes, and how much did I give you? 350,000 rifnas. Yes, that's right. But how should we explain why you can't answer your phone or reply to his messages he gave? Listen, tell him you went to um, a rehab center in Kiev to see a doctor. He didn't answer because phones aren't allowed. And you came back and the doctor said you can go back to work. That's the only version of the story you'll say to him, okay? And don't forget to apologize often, okay? Oh. And who gave you money for your treatment? You. Exactly, it's time to go. Will you give me a ride? Oh yeah, you have to understand. We shouldn't be seen together at the moment. Fine.
Hello. I was just sitting here wondering where you went and why you left your things. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for watching them. I stopped out to get an ice cream. I see you have one too. <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a long time painting landscapes. You didn't like it there? Oh, I did. And by the way, you were right when you said that painting could distract me from my sad thoughts. I tried some of it at home. I painted the kitchen once. You did? Yeah. The kids are going to be here in 30 minutes for the lesson, so you're welcome to stay if you want. If you're not busy or anything. <laughs> sure, I'd love that. I have a free couple of hours to go. Good. That's good. And now, how are you doing this past few months? Well, my dad has financial problems, so I took the additional shifts at the hospital to help him out, but I'm okay overall. Hmm. How are you doing at work? Where do you work? I really would like to know. Well, same old. <laughs> What's Oriana? Someone's waiting for you, chef. Come on. Soriana. Come on. <clears throat> Here, these people wanted to thank you for your potato pies with mushrooms and your millet soup. Thank you. <laughs> You're great, brother. So talented. Unlike me. Yes, I understand my order is urgent, but we've been working with your printing firm for the past few years, so I'm confident that your company will print out our promotional brochures. What? You can do that? Great, just a moment. I'll ask if the draft is ready. Elena, do you know if the draft is ready? It'll be ready in five minutes and then proofread before passing it to mm -hmm. the client. Hi, everyone. Hello, Anna. Hello. How are you doing so far? Mm-hmm. Hello? I'll send you the draft via email in 20 minutes. When can you print 2,000 copies of the brochures? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Goodbye. Is she helping for my coming promotional event? Well, my sister is a quick one. What a show off. I see you took on my promotional event project I was working on. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Hmm. You are invited to a local orchestra from a music school? Why not a symphony, the one from the capital? Because our main concept is getting the cultural community of Tracassi involved. The capital defeats the point. Really? Yes. I hope you'll do a great job. I wish you success. Denis Ryorovich liked everything you presented. Don't worry about it. I'm sure he did. Where's Denis anyway? In his office? Oh, why am I even asking? I'll go find him myself. Hi, honey. Are you very busy? Why are you here? I asked you not to come to work for a while. Honey, don't be mad. I couldn't stay home because I'm thinking about the promotional event. I just came to see how the progress is going and I was restless about it, that's all. By the way, I came up with a few suggestions which Lesha has already approved. Oh, don't worry, honey. I won't ask for additional expenses. I know the project will succeed. By the way, I saw Halia today at work. When you have the chance to talk to her, you'll know I was telling you the truth this time, I promise. You're going to talk to her, right? Sorry, I have a meeting in five minutes, so I have to go get ready. I will definitely talk to Halia later. 
All right, honey. I won't bother you anymore. I get to work. Yes? Hello. Hello. I just dropped in for a second. Of course. Do you have any news about who swindled my grandma? Yes, look. Uh, come here. See, he was convicted twice for fraudulent activity. Well, his eyes look like hyenas. Intimidating, but frankly speaking, not too smart. I got his full name, Hennady Fodorovich Zuk. He was born in Bilachorkva. I wanted to send them a request, just in case he showed up there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Send one to Kiev, too. He might spend some money there. That makes sense. Well, I was thinking maybe you should talk to Petro Kaluzny. Petro Kaluzny? Yes, my grandma and Zana mentioned him a couple of times. He's the only person in Tricassi who knows Hanadi Zuk. And who is this Petro? And where can I find him? Well, I don't know much about him. He is one of the main chefs in the cafe called Mama Olya. I've been to that place. The food there is great. I know this address. I'll go to him. I'll call you after I talk to him. Hello? Danilo must be at work now. I don't know what happened, but if it wasn't for Anna, I... Who knows where I'd be? She really saved me this time. When I started taking heroin, I thought that was really the end of me. Everything hurt so much. My skin, my joints. How did Anna find out you had such an uncontrollable problem? Um, well, we met in a coffee shop one day. I wanted to borrow some money from her. I needed a dose, so I approached her. She promised to give me the money. We started talking, and I told her everything. And she listened and helped me get a new life. I have to thank you, Dennis. I, I owe you so much, and Anna, too. And... How much money did she lend you anyway, in total? A lot of money. A huge sum. I've never had so much money before. About 300,000, or even more. But it was not only for my treatment. I needed to pay my debts too. I'm so ashamed. In fact, Disgusted. <laughs> Denis Ryorovich, please don't tell anyone. I just got on the right track, a second chance to live. 
And I promise you, and I promise my family as well, that I'd never ever take drugs again. Come on, Halia. He had to come see you. He had to ask you. <sighs> Dennis came here. I told him everything I was supposed to, and he seems to believe me. Great. I really like Petro's son. He was well-mannered, polite and friendly. Petro raised a decent son. Mm-hmm. That means he's a good person, no doubt about it. That proves absolutely nothing. You can lie to people, too. You can deceive them and show them um, how to be decent. Lie to your kids and your wife. He's not a good person. It's all a facade. How's it? It's good. Thank Who you. are you talking about? Who's the good person? You, of course. I froze some benderiki. A hundred of them, it's for a week. For three days at most, you'll see. Oh, good afternoon. Hello. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. Would you like to have lunch? We have the potato pie with mushrooms and millet soup. No, thanks. I came on business. I need to speak to Petro Kalushny. I am Petro Kalushny. My name is Vadim Sidorenko from the in-house security of Cherkasy Silikat Bud. Do you have a minute? Sure. Have a seat. <clears throat> I'm doing a private investigation of the recently committed fraud taken at the request of Dobrovolskis. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you a few questions about Hena Dijuk. When did you last see your friend? My friend? He's now my friend. Such people are worse than my enemies. He steals people's money and vanishes. If he shows up here, I'll show him. I would leave an ounce of life in him. How long ago since you last seen him? I haven't seen him since he disappeared. And if he dares to come here, I'll kill him. See? Petra is a good person. <clears throat> How did you find out that Hennedy has committed fraud from the Borvolskis? I'm just like everybody else. He left without warning me, and then the things got messy, and he left me hanging. I audited and found a problem. 350,000 Rivnias has disappeared from the budget of the promotional event. That's devoted to the celebration expenses of the company's anniversary. I already know that. Thank you for the thorough audit. There's more. 500,000 Rivnias has been taken from the budget from the previous promotional event. It's just the same with all the other activities. According to my preliminary calculations, the total amount of embezzled funds is 3 million. Denis Ryorovich, the person who set a budget and conducted all these events, it was your wife. I'm very sorry. I hope this information doesn't get out. I hope you will keep it a secret. I understand you, but you have to listen. I must investigate the situation. So, I'll have to talk to people from the development department. I must know if there's any of them that has anything to do with this. So, there are going to be rumors. I'll make a report when it's complete and ready. I am... I'm really sorry for what's happening. Me too. Believed her? Saying she saved a friend? She can't save anyone, she's saving her for herself. My sister is so evil. She told Halia to lie to Dennis. 
What could even happen to her? Why should she need so much money? Is she ill? Is she dying? Halia looks quite healthy. Dennis can't be so naive. If he believed this lie, I will stop respecting him. What about love? Will you stop loving him too? Yes, I will. Petro Kaluzhny got very angry. He threatened to beat him up once he saw his scammer friend. Did you believe him? Yes, he seemed like a good man. Unfortunately, I got no specific information from him. I guess he had just nothing to tell me. He knows what everybody else does and what you've already told me. <sighs> That's too bad. I gave him my card earlier. He promised to call me. In case he remembered something. Or his friend showed up. I guess we hit a dead end. Don't jump to conclusions yet. The information might come up any moment. And I sent a private request about Hannah Dishuk to my colleagues in Bilachevka, Kiev, and some other cities, just in case. Let's patiently wait for the results. Yes? Thank you for taking up this case. I'll see you later. <clears throat> Listen, do you have any specific plans for tonight? Are you busy at all? No, why? I want to invite you to a strange but interesting place that I know. I think you're going to like it, but you'll need to change. Are we going to the theater? Do I need an evening gown? I think that you won't be comfortable wearing a gown there. Where are we going then? You should wear some sports clothes. Can I take a look? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, wow. Your paintings are beautiful. Those are sketches. Oh, right, sketches. Well, they're not ready yet. Lada said I have to work on my technique. And Lada is, um... Mm, yeah, I already told you about her. I mm. met her accidentally. She makes different decorations and stuff. Oh, she also teaches art. Uh -huh. The plain air. It's when an artist comes out and draws from nature out into the open. Uh -huh. She's very interesting. Creative, too. I should have sent you to art school when you were growing up. <laughs> it's okay. You can learn anything if you have the will and talent. Okay, I'll take a leak. Hmm? What is this now? Damn it, why am I seeing this? Well, where did this come from anyway? What is it, Dad? Why were you shouting? Look at that! What is it? Hmm. Was Hannah here? That jerk? He probably broke into our apartment when we were away. He had a key to our apartment, though. That's exactly it! Okay, go check if that bastard stole anything from us. Mm-hmm. Well, looks like he didn't take anything. He came here to eat. And left us that chain. He better give the money back to the Dobrovolskis. A chain? Does he think we're rich? If I see him, I'll surely kick his butt. Do you know what I think? If he came here to eat, it means things aren't going well for him. This is all he had left. Maybe we should find him. I don't care about what he's doing. Okay. Where is it? Today a man, uh, from the Dobrovolsky security service came to see me. I'm gonna call him. And tell him about that trick coming to Cherkasi so they would, so they could catch him. Right, I'll take a shower and go to work. And as for Hannah, I respect your decision, but I think he's not as bad as you think.
How are you, darling? Are you okay? Yes, Mom, I'm fine. You're looking very tired lately from work again. Let me make you some tea. It's your grandma's recipe. She'll be really happy we're using it. Thank you, but don't bother. Mom, do you have a minute to talk? Of course. I have all the time. I'm all ears, son. <clears throat> it's a personal question. Did you ever think about divorcing Dad? Why are you asking about it? I've been thinking about marriage lately, like what it's about. And if you always have to forgive your partner and take his or her side only because you're married, is it still fair to be by her side? What's the limit on forgiveness? A marriage between a man and a woman is always a partnership. It's either you're beside her or not. Not everything is simple and plain, you know? Your father and I, we used to have arguments too. There are days I cry myself to sleep. I even wanted to take the two of you and just leave. Your father got so occupied with his growing business that it seemed he didn't need anyone at all. But then we sat down and talked sincerely. After that, he was back. He started giving us more attention. Then, I guess... Well, it was the only time. No. I didn't feel it. I didn't consider divorcing him. I love him too much. Do you and Anna have serious problems? Are you thinking about divorce? I love you, Mom. I love you too, son. Honey. Honey, talk to me, please. Then. Talk to me, baby. I'm your wife. Did you talk to Halia? Did she tell you everything you need to know? Yes, I talked to Halia. She said that the money she got was for her recovery. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have enough of my own money to reimburse the funds that you embezzled. But I will do that only after the investigation is over. An investigation? Why? I have already told you what I did. I really hate my sister. I can't stand whenever she is around. I want to hit her. I can't contain it, oh God. And Dennis? How is he still married to her? She lies, she manipulates, and she gets away with murder. She's disgusting, and he can't see that. Is he blind? His wife is using him. Anna, please try to calm your nerves down. Don't get all worked up. Do I? Do I get worked up? You're changing. You became angry and irritated. I'm becoming just like my sister. Yes. I don't have a choice. This is the only way to win against her. And I won't hold back now. But there's a risk of losing yourself. Your soul. You can think and say whatever you want about me. But until I get revenge, until my sister feels the terror I went through, I will not calm down or step back. From now on, I will check all the bills that have to do with you. All of them. Are you not trusting me anymore? Not until I get the result. I didn't take this money for myself. I know. Honey, I... I really appreciate your noble attitude towards me. Let's get divorced. Do you only want to divorce me because I took all of that money? I just don't believe you anymore. That's why. All right. Let's talk after I get the reports about the corruption in your promotional events.
Well, go ahead. Tell me what happened. Remember when you asked me to check how things are going at your son's company and what's causing him the stress? Yes. Well, everything has been fine so far, but, uh... But recently, Denis Rihorovich started a full accounting inspection, and I managed to find out that huge amounts of funds that has been embezzled. Tell me, where exactly did the embezzlement take place? In the development department, during the promotional events conduction. Promotional events? Good morning. Hello. Morning. Are you going to work? No, I decided to go see my mom before work. I really miss her. Mikita. You'll have to find out soon. How much money was embezzled. I'll do that. Good. Goodbye. Mm. Do you need sour cream? Yes, and can you grab the honey too? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy Petro agreed to come back. So am I. And I think it's about time for someone to make it up with him. Mm, like I'm gonna do that. Here you go. Like that. Good for nothing would really quit. Thank you. Luba, stop it. Petro's not a bad man. He's very handy and smart. He's raised a great son too, you know. And his debts are even greater if you see it. Oh. Hello, dear. Did you come here for breakfast or something else? Hello, my sister. We need to talk. Then my foot slid into the hole between the boards, so I grabbed the rope and started screaming like crazy. I'm screaming, holy mama, holy mama. <laughs> Why didn't you mention me? Oh, Grant. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you, son. Where is Anna? Isn't she going to have breakfast with us? I don't know where she went. She went to see her mother. I saw her earlier. She said she missed her and then took off. Probably. How are things at the factory lately? It's fine. I went to the adventure park yesterday. It was fun. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> I'll definitely try it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for breakfast. I need to go. I've got to get going too. See you all later. Risha, what's wrong with him? Everything's fine, Mom. He'll be all right. So? What do you want? You did it. You set me up. Yes, I'm sure of that. You told Dennis who I was meeting with, right? Who? Someone Dennis mustn't know about what? What are you talking about? You know who! I saw you in the cafe that day. You came there to tell Dennis everything that happened that day. What are you talking about? Which cafe was it again? The one near the office or somewhere else? I don't, don't know. Don't act like you're clueless. Listen, I don't want to see you at work ever again. You will go to the office and quit right now. Did you hear? You're out today. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you shouting early in the morning? Well, in that case, if I make you that nervous, maybe you should quit. Are there any problems going on no, at work? No, I like working there. I have no reasons to quit. Who are you to tell me to quit? Do you know that you owe me everything you have? Your life, your face, your job. Will you explain what's going on between the two of you? Dennis demanded a divorce from me! 